Heidi ho friends of the farm. Today's video is on sunflowers and we've got a ton of sunflowers that are blooming. So we've got a lot of orders we got to prep. So we got a little bit of work to do this morning. Let's get going. So the variety of sunflower that we planted this year are called Pro Cuts. And you can get them in a lot of different colors. This is called Pro Cut Orange. They're a single stem uh, and they only really produce one uh, sunflower. So once you cut it, it's done. It's not a branching uh, variety. Um, the sunflowers I've, I've uh, planted in the past have been more for the sunflower seed, uh, but these are purely for cutting and putting in a vase on your kitchen table. Um, they're considered pollenless, so they don't produce uh, pollen, which will drop and make a mess and stain anything that's in your home. Um, I had a, a friend of mine reach out to me uh, that's a beekeeper, and he was concerned or questioning the, uh, the pollenless variety of sunflowers about uh, their interaction with bees and are they beneficial to bees and I didn't really know um, but I have seen bees around the sunflowers so doing a little bit of research into it I found out that the pollenless still produce nectar but they don't produce the pollen so the nectar is still uh, provides sustenance for the bees but they don't collect pollen from the sunflowers so still beneficial but it's not a uh, one-stop shop for the bees to get the pollen and the, um, the nectar as well. You can see the bee on that sunflower right there. So uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, we have some orders for cut sunflowers and I'm gonna go over the process of how we harvest them and prep them for, uh, for orders. So the first thing I look at uh, when we're gonna go cut a sunflower is how open the petals are. And this one right here is a beautiful display of a sunflower, but the petals are already fully open. So it's kind of past the point that we would want to harvest it uh, to be put in a vase. Um, once the petals just start to show their colors, like this one and even this one, um, are going to be just fine uh, to cut and put in a vase. Because that provides longevity uh, in the vase. Because over the next day or two, uh, these uh, petals will continue to open and it'll end up a full, uh, fully broad, sunflower and uh, will stay in that state for quite a while in the vase. So that's the first thing we look at is how open the petals are. All right, when you go to cut them, I just use regular pruning shears. I go down about 18 inches or so and cut it off. Once you cut it off, you just cut the, or pull the leaves off like so. And they do say to leave the top leaf closest to the sunflower head. So that's it. We just put it in a bucket of water, move on to the next one. Okay, the last thing we do after we cut them is we want to tie them together. So I just get a piece of brown twine. And we bundle them together. Be careful not to smush the petals. Okay, then we add a little card on there and that one's ready to go. Well, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you got a little bit out of it about sunflowers. If nothing more, you're able to sit and watch some bee beautiful sunflowers. Till next time, you take it easy.